Hi, I'm Chris Sable, an SSD architect at Google. Um, I'm here today with Ross Stenford, a hardware system engineer um, focusing on storage at Meta. Um, this video is going to cover the NVMe Flexible Data Placement, or FTP. FTP provides a method for the host to provide hints to the device on where to place data. Everything else stays the same on the device. This enables improved write amplification, known as WAP, which results in reduced wear, improved quality of service, and improved performance. I'm Russ Stenford at Meta, and let me talk about flexible data placement and write application and the problem that flexible data placement uh, solves. So write amplification causes a number of issues on the device, but let me start by explaining what write amplification is. Write amplification is when the host writes data to the device and then the device writes the data to the media, there's an increased number of writes to the media. So if the host writes 4K to the device and then the device writes 8K to the media, it's a write amplification value of two because it's 8K divided by 4K. Now, the problem those additional writes to media cause are increased wear on the device, reduced performance, reduced QoS, and increased power in the device. So by reducing the WAF, all those uh, factors of performance, QoS, and power all improve. The historical method for reducing WAF is through over-provisioning. The big benefit of over-provisioning is that it reduces the amount of garbage collection required, as it's more likely that there's a place to write new data. Then the host uses deallocate or trim to garbage collection the data that's no longer in use. Uh, the big issue with over-provisioning is that customers are purchasing extra NAND that will never be used for user data. This is a waste of power, uh, bytes, and cost. Flexible data placement did a number of things to make it friendly for the ecosystem. The first thing it did is it made it backwards compatible. This allows customers to easily adopt this in their infrastructure without uh, the high risk of uh, needing to adopt it before they are ready. It also uh, enables the host to provide hints to the device on how to optimally place the data to ensure the best alignment of host data to the media. It also enables the device to virtually advertise its NAND topologies to the host, which enables the host to have additional needed information to place the data optimally. Google and Meta collaborated with NVM Express to develop a feature-rich and backwards compatible solution. Um, backwards compatibility is, is an important feature of, of FTP. Uh, the devices will work as a typical NVMe device. Um, if the host and application support FTP, then the device is configured the benefit of reduced write amplification, better performance are realized. Um, this also kind of dovetails with a lot of virtualization use cases where the VM doesn't know about any of the FTP extensions, but at configuration time, the device can be set up um, to provide the benefits to those virtualized hosts. Uh, FTP divine, also defines hints that the host can specify based on the LBAs being written which the device then uses for optimal physical media placement. Um, this is especially true for distributed storage applications. FTP also provides configuration information to the host that allows the host to understand the physical layout of the device. For example, how many logical blocks are in each physical unit that is garbage collected? This information allows the host to provide the appropriate hints and use of deallocate trim to achieve a WAF that's, that's as close as possible to 1.0. FTP is a feature for the data center market, including hyperscale and enterprise environments. Uh, in any context where there are multiple users of a single device, such as multiple virtual machines, there's gonna be a benefit to using FTP. Uh, the benefits are improved quality of service and longer lasting devices. In addition, we all like better performance at a lower cost. There are a number of places that you can go to learn more about FTP. The first place you can go is to the NVMe Express website and look up TP4146. And this will have all the technical details about flexible data placement. 
The next place you can look is uh, Flash Memory Summit on the YouTube channel for Ivim Express has a video for 2022 with Chris Abel and me on flexible data placement. The next place you can go is the OCP website for past events. And there's OCP Global, which has talks by both me and Chris and suppliers on FTP. And there's also from this May, an OCP virtual tech talk on the OCP website which has a talk from me and Chris on the State of the Union for FDP and also a supplier panel talking about FDP. So there are many options and places to go and find more information.